It's rather a heartbreaking scene here. We came across this as we were uh, driving in this neighborhood trying to get a true sense of the aftermath of Sandy. As you know, the Lower East Side and the East Village without power since Sandy hit. They're not expected to get their power back since Saturday at the least, at the earliest. And look how desperate it has gotten here in this neighborhood. We're here outside the Key Foods Avenue A and East 4th Street and people are dumpster diving and what they're going after here is the food that was inside these Key Foods. We presume it all spoiled and was dumped out here for garbage. But instead, those here, some that I've spoken with, so hungry, they literally pried open this dumpster. You see that door open right now, and they are literally picking through for whatever they can take home with themselves. We have seen everybody here, from the elderly to families with children, literally up on top of this, looking for whatever it is that they could take home with themselves. To put this in perspective, again, this community without power since Monday, so many people here seeking shelter and seeking a way to feed themselves water. They're looking for any kind of food and water possible, and this is the extent that they're willing to go to, the extremes that they're willing to go to. Uh, we were down at a shelter here, a place that just opened up their doors so people could come in and use a power line and a phone line to call friends and to call family. Hundreds of people have been filtering in there since they opened their doors yesterday. Just down the block, we saw a generator there running on fumes. The purpose of this generator, though, somebody pulled it out, put a power strip there so people, we've seen this scene throughout the city, could power up their phones to make calls. But again, where we are right now, perhaps the most extreme example of what people are willing to do right now just to bring food home with themselves. This entire area, the bodegas here, they are shut down. Uh, the restaurants clearly shut down. So many were flooded here, lost power here. Uh, and, and this is what people are now doing. Uh, I mean, really, if you step back and you look at it, it puts it into perspective just how rough even the city is still right now uh, really dealing with the aftermath of all of this. Uh, people taking photos, uh, they've been doing this. We've seen people pass by, take photos because this is uh, really uh, unbelievable. Those people taking photos, we should say, I've seen some then go in and get food for themselves before returning home. We're live here in the East Village. Jonathan Vigliotti, News 4 New York. You know, John